The Ash, Lutzy and Susie, Snackbox. Um, morning, everyone. Somebody, I read somewhere that there was over 100,000 lightning strikes last night. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it was pretty bad, wasn't it? Really? Yeah. I was at the movies during it, but it was, did it go for a long time? I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, no, it lasted for a while. Yeah. Good hour, I, I reckon. But yeah. every time you looked up, it was just going off. It's not. I lost power again. <laughs> That's yeah. like really? Three times this What's week. What's going on with that? I don't know, honestly. I don't know. Sort it out. That's bizarre. What mm. about the outdoor concert? Were you outdoors? Uh, it got delayed by about better, oh, probably more than an hour, actually. I think they had to increase the uh, the um, curfew time, oh. uh, which the council had to jump in and do that, which they did. So, yeah, I think Pearl Jam didn't get on stage till about, must have been almost 9 o'clock instead of 7.45. But they still got on. How good. long did they play for? Oh, they still played the full. Well, they oh, played they? till uh, till eleven. That must have been the curfew. They they finished right on eleven. Right. Was it raining? Uh, no, it, well, it rained in that period before they started, and there was lightning, and then it stopped, and it was actually <laughs> fine. not in the chairman's yeah. lounge. Not where he was no, not where I was, buddy. I didn't get a drop on me. <laughs> Did the spring rolls remain crispy? <laughs> the spring rolls were delightful. Actually, yeah. they had some sort of chicken in them, I believe. Mm. There's uh, all sorts of things. Just half of two two fifths of powder finger were there. JC oh. wasn't oh, really? Bernard. Bernard was there. A, oh, rare, a, rare, a rare public sighting you, of Bernard well, Fanning. Oh, were they talking to each other, JC and Bernard? They no, a... JC wasn't there because he, oh. had, he had his... I was supposed to MC his Trifford Band of the Year. Oh, that's right. That was last night. But that, well, I couldn't go to that. So JC stuck at that and it was Hoggy. It was Hoggy and, and Bernard. Were they hanging out together? And they were chatting, okay. which I thought was interesting. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Was it, was it, was it about the Olympics? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Probably Always. about the Olympics. Oh, how good you know, would that, t- how good would that be, by the way? Well, I, I watched an interview with Bernard just a couple of, uh, like about a week ago, I reckon. Yeah, and he was talking about how the friendships are rock solid. The, yeah, well, him and Hoggy, the, I, yeah. I, I, saw him walk, I saw Bernard walk in and see Hoggy for the first time, and it wasn't like, it didn't look standoffish. No. Straight up to each other. Hug? No, I didn't see a hug. I didn't see a hug. No. What did you see Bernard on? Was that the Zan Rowe five songs thing? Anyway. Uh, it was on social. It I just on, haven't it seen just popped him for up ages. on my um, yeah, algorithm he's on social the, media. He's doing I watched thing it. with Paul Dempsey, the Dempsey Fanning National Park project mm. they're doing at the moment. It's a yeah, new album. It, it was a reflective interview on his career. Okay, oh, yeah, I saw what, that as well. That's what it, on my algorithm. Yeah. yeah. But I can't remember where it was from. Wish I could. It was good. Mm. Very good. Google it. The Ash Lutzi and Susie Snackbox. Uh, uh. Does anybody have any interest? I, I started watching last night mm-hmm. uh, on Netflix the Jake Paul Mike Tyson. Yes, I've been oh, yeah. reading all about it. The Mike Tyson thing. When's that happening? I, I know, like a, lot about, I know so a lot about. I know a lot about this. It's it's this weekend. Right. Okay. It, it's on hey. this weekend. I think it's. I think it works out. Mitchell uh, in heaven, please. Somebody who knows what they're talking about. He legitimately pulled out of the first fight as well. He nearly died. He got um. He lost so much blood. Yes. What he happened? Had, he got really unwell and he was vomiting up blood and he who's had a this? blood ulcer. Mike Tyson. Mike. They were meant oh, to fight already. God. God. He'd lost half of his blood supply. Tyson's 31, 31 years older than Jake Paul. Mm. And this counts as a legitimate fight. Mm. Like, it will go on Tyson's record. He'll be up there mm. with, uh, in his, like, from CV. his glory mm. years, this will add to it. Not that I guess that matters too much. It but does, I think, to him. I think it matters to him too. Mm. And um, He's it been will, training hard, though. It, well, he, apparently he has been. And you see some of the vision of him where he's hitting the bag and it's like, any one of those hits on me breaks ribs, breaks mm. bones, like uh, would do much yeah. destruction. Mm. But Jake Paul, he's he's 27 years of age. And Jake Paul has only lost one fight, and that was to Tyson Fury. Mm. I mean, can you believe that? He, he's, he's, he's a legitimate fighter as well, well as a question. Well, he can hold his gloves up. I don't know that he's, that he's a legitimate fighter, but he can hold his gloves up. Question. The bookies have got him as the favourite. Mm. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Uh, question. Yes. Um, who gets the lion's share of the uh, of the the, the purse? Yeah, I don't know, because the other interesting thing about this <clears throat> is it's Netflix's first foray into live sport. Yeah, how's that work? Into streaming, into sure. live streaming. Mm. Netflix has always been a delivery service that you can go there, and it's like you've got the greatest, you know, video slash yeah. uh, TV show catalog in the history of you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. The, the, all of those. Services are the same. It's just like you open up this amazing library, but it's the first time that Netflix has gone down the live streaming. And where this will be interesting, mm. Suze, is mm. in questions. is in the uh, in, in just in terms of that from a business point of view with Netflix, is this something that they're going to step into? 
Do you have to, and do you, and do you have to pay extra for it? Well, you don't. Because for, I really no. you this. don't have to for this for this for, flight, this, for this fight on the weekend. You don't have to pay extra if you've got Netflix. You'll be able to watch this fight. Yeah, I just if clicked someone on can it, give I, us the time. I clicked on it on Netflix. It yeah. just says live Saturday starting at eleven a.m. GMT plus ten. What the hell is that? Uh, Global well, means time or something. Greenwich means Greenwich time. Greenwich means time. time. Plus ten. I, I think I saw it was that's us. It, it, that's us. Yeah. It's, is that it's, us? Yeah. Oh right. So that's 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 made the um, that's made the adjustments for us. Oh okay. But I think it, it attracted to people who aren't into boxing. I'm not into boxing, and I really yeah. want to watch this because of the characters, because of the fact mm. that it's Mike Tyson and the YouTuber guy. I and, want him to get smashed. And I want you, Mike you, Tyson to win. Uh, I want so I, much. Suze, I want Mike Tyson to win for my generation yeah. too, because. Oh, you young people <laughs> yeah. out there oh, here we go. Yeah. that think that Jake Paul is it and a bit. Yeah. I'm telling you, there was never, in, in my life, there has never been a more ferocious mm. athlete, a more feared no. person That's than it. Mike Tyson in his prime. Mm. And An animal. A, 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 a like absolute a, a wild freak, beast. a warrior, a beast, a, yeah, a dog. But then he seems like a teddy bear as well. He's a real conundrum uh, to me. Uh, yeah. I mean, don't you think? Oh, like, well, I, the article I read about him, he's like a little... Teddy bear, but insecure. I think and he's insane. Yeah. Insane, yeah. Too. <laughs> but 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 Tyson says sort of something like that, Lutzi. Where you know, like Tyson's whole life has been, um, has been being the warrior. Like he was a kid from some like shitty place in New York, mm. raising pigeons. He raised pigeons, and then this bloke Customato took him under his wing. It's like a Rocky story. Mm. And, and and made this kid at 19 or at 20 he was when he won the heavyweight championship for the first time, the youngest ever heavyweight champion in the world. And he used to he used to go into the ring and just annihilate people. Mm. Ferocious. And, and he's back with his original love now as well. I was reading all about that. So his first oh, really? love that he was um he liked back in the day, he's now back with her and she's been great for him. They're there, really calming. There is a count on Netflix, just looking too, there's a countdown, Paul versus Tyson. There's three episodes. It's the number two show in TV shows. Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. Netflix like, it's a three-part it's, series. If you want to watch it, it, it delves into the whole life of Tyson and just yeah. it, it, it'll give you an appreciation. If you're not aware of how great Mike Tyson was as a boxer, it'll give you an appreciation of wh- who he is and why I hope that he absolutely smashes Jake Paul. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie Snackbox. Mm. Pearl Jam last night at yep. the uh, People First Arena or Stadium. Something. I mean, whatever. Gold Coast Carrara. Carrara. Yeah. Carrara. Um, he, a couple of shout outs. One that just quickly, he, he did a shout out, which I didn't understand, which you just explained to me was a Trent Dalton reference. Yeah, Eli and oh, I've forgotten the name now. Bell. Bell. The, the people from the book. Um, Voice, Voice Wellness Universe. Universe. He did a shout out to them, yeah. the characters. So Trent would have been the only person yeah. that understood that. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, who the hell are they? But anyway, That's obscure. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then he did a shout out to, um, he did a big shout out to the surfers. Like, uh, specifically, he made reference to Mark Richards and Mick Fenning. Oh. And then he was saying how, I think, apparently, Mick Fenning's being inducted into the Australian Sport of Hall of Fame. He is on Monday. And, and, and he said, so he made reference to that. So he knew mm. his stuff. And he said he that is. Mark Richards is already in there. Yes, he is. But then, what the funny um, side note to that that no one sort of knows is that um, another world champion. Joel Parkinson, Parko was there. Oh, was he? And he, he's a great guy. Mm. I'm sure I don't know Mick, but I, I know he's Parko a, a bit. Yeah. And he was he was in the area I was in. <laughs> and no <laughs> shout out for no, him. He got no shout out. But the reason he didn't get a <laughs> shout out, I was like, "What about Parko?" They went, "Oh, now I know. I remember why." Because when Parko came in, I had a chat with him, and he's like, "Oh, my wife's spewing." I said, "What'd you do?" And he goes, oh, well, I didn't read the email properly. <laughs> like, we just rocked up here. It was a meet and greet with Eddie Vedder. Oh. <laughs> he, he didn't read the email oh. and didn't go to the meet and greet. So and Eddie just met Mick Fanning well, and Mark Richards. Obviously, Mick Fanning and Mark mm. Richards are just, so he knew that they're yeah, there. The f- top of mind. And he reckons Parko <laughs> hasn't turned up to the concert. Oh. So he hasn't mentioned him oh, in the no. speech. He's brushed in. <laughs> Oh, so Parko's sitting there going, what a, well, fair enough. He was like, what am I, a piece of you know, burnt toast? <laughs> he should have been. <laughs> Yelly, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. I just didn't know. I didn't read my emails. <laughs> i read your emails. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie Snackbox. All right. Well, who brought us? you brought us this story, didn't you, Susie? Yeah, I saw that um, this young Gold Coast boy went to the Kid Leroy concert and he put up a sign saying, I can play bleed on my guitar. And the Kid Leroy got him up on stage and you played it and we've got him here today Nash Cowan, Cowan. Mm. welcome Brizzy boy 
Thanks for having me, guys. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Now, just quick, I was just talking off air to you. Explain to us exactly how it happened, because the, the, the narrative was that you had a big sign, you saw the big sign, but last time I checked, these big signs aren't sort of uh, frowned upon. So how did, how, did he, how, did he come, how did you come to his attention? So I did have a sign, um, but the head of security at the event said I wasn't allowed to have it. <laughs> oh. Otherwise, I'd it's get... It's probably Dale Hall. <laughs> it could yes. be our mate Dale Hall, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, so... I had to resort to plan B, which was to just yell and hope to get picked oh, up really? by the crowd mics, yeah. So I didn't really where were you in the crowd? Like, how close to the kid were you? So we were right up at the barricade. We'd been lining up since 8 o'clock in the morning. Right. You have a really deep voice. I'm, I'm surprised because you're so young. You're 16. I expected you to go, oh, hey, I'm Nash Cow. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, so no, they you... drop, Suze. <laughs> <laughs> this this <laughs> boy's becoming a man. <laughs> yeah. So when you yelled out, you... You know, you would have had a good voice. Hey, kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll play a song with you. <laughs> exactly. Is that what it was like? What did you yell out? I just yelled, well, I saw that he swapped guitars to the one that uh, Bleeds played on. And oh, then, right. Oh, you're observant. Yeah. I just, really? So you knew it was coming? You knew that the next song, or well, this is the instrument that he needs to play this particular Bleed. song? Well, there's only a handful of songs that are played on an acoustic, so I thought I might as well just... Go now and yell. Wow. And you just yelled out, can I play guitar on bleed? Like, what did you say? So, yeah, I yelled, can I play bleed on guitar right as he was about to start the song? And then, yeah, he heard it and said, hold on, hold on, and turned to his band and, like, told them to wait. What did, and what did, you must have proverbially mm. yeah, shit yourself. got nervous. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was, yeah, I was in a bit I mean, of to put it bluntly. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe that he actually heard me. Like, what on Yeah, earth? wow. Yeah. Did you think you're in trouble to start with? Like, I would have thought, oh no, what have I done? I've disrupted the band somehow, and they're going to kick me out. Like, did, or did you think, here we go, I'm on, I'm on here. I thought, oh, <laughs> this is like this is the chance I've been wanting to do it. Like, let's, like, let's go. Wow, let's so is, is that how you genuinely felt? Yeah, no nerves. What was it like when you stood up and there was a big crowd there, and it was like, oh, I got to, I got to do this now. Well, I don't know. It was kind of like it was really welcoming. So like, it wasn't really very scary, and you couldn't really see the crowd anyway. So. Yeah. And it was obviously his guitar, wasn't it? Like yeah, so it was his guitar. So, and guitar. then when you get it, does it feel like your guitar? It obviously felt a bit different. Yeah. Like it was quite a nice guitar. Like obviously it was worth quite a bit. Yeah. But yeah. Can you play? Can you play this? Yeah. Of it? Have you played yes, live before? Very... Have you stood up before a crowd before and played? Only at school. Wow. Really? Oh my god. Oh, wow, this is unreal. Well, well done, done, mate. Play, play, play the start of oh, Give us a little bit. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, you've, got, you've got buzzies. In I can't. I'm, I'm not singing. Have you got the song? Uh, Let's uh, listen to the song. Well, this is this is yeah. So this is the hook of the song. You let me down. Play along to the hook. So nice. Well done. We're, we're, we're actually chatting. We're <laughs> chatting with the kid Leroy later on, um, which will be on tomorrow's show. So make sure you listen to that. Have you got a message you want? You want to say something to we, him? We, we can, we, we can pass it on it to him. Let's do it again tonight. Hey, are you going tonight? Possibly. You are now. You are Let's now. Get the friend. family tickets. We're getting family tickets, pass. mate. Yeah. Little Archie, little you're Archie's going too, bud boy. Yeah. Year old. Hey-o. Hey-o. Thank and, you, guys. Mate, that's so yeah, so cool. That's uh, well, you go on the concert, so yep. we'll pass the message on to the kid, and we'll see if we can create some more magic in your it. hometown this time. That's it. Good yeah. on you, Nash. Well done, mate. Thank well you, guys. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzy and Susie Snackbox.